Hey there, welcome to tutorial number one of the Easy jQuery series part of EasyProgramming.net. We got an introduction to jQuery in the last video, so in this video let's put some of what we learned to use. Uh, we'll use JS Fiddle for this video, um, and the link to the Fiddle can be found in the description below as well as uh, embedded on EasyProgramming.net. Uh, so if you followed my Easy JavaScript uh, tutorials, JS Fiddle should be very familiar to you. Uh, as I'm using the same account, you'll find all of my fiddles in my public account as well. Uh, there were some couple changes to uh, uh, JS Fiddle, including this dark theme. So if you want to toggle the dark theme on and off, it's this toggle uh, on the top right here. So dark theme on and off. Uh, let's try with the dark theme on first. If you don't like it, please comment uh, below and let me know and I will switch it up for future videos. Uh, so let's learn, uh, let, let's do a, a couple things. So first is uh, JS Fiddle is purely for JavaScript. The cool thing about JS Fiddle is that you can actually include libraries without including them in a script tag somewhere. So in the four uh, boxes that we have on the bottom left one, the JavaScript box, it says JavaScript no library pure JS. This is the default. So when you click on this, you can actually click on frameworks and extensions and look at the different libraries that are available to you. Um, including like Vue and AngularJS, which is uh, not Angular 2, uh, Reactive.js, React, etc. So we're going to go up to uh, jQuery and find the latest version, not Edge. Uh, uh, let's stay away from the betas and we'll do 3.2.1. So pick uh, whatever version is latest uh, at the time you're watching this video. Uh, and the load type would be on load uh, because then jQuery will load after uh, everything else on the page is loaded uh, and that's what we want. So we'll run it and jQuery is now installed in our JS Fiddle. So let's do a couple things. Uh, in the last video we went over how to select uh, HTML elements. Uh, if you want to select a tag you would do dollar sign and then followed by just the tag name, nothing special. Uh, classes and IDs follow the CSS uh, identifiers. Uh, so for class it would be a, a dot and for ID it will be uh, pound sign. Uh, you can also select the current element. Uh, the this uh, keyword it also works in jQuery. Uh, we'll cover this in, in a future tutorial. Uh, I'd also recommend checking out my the this tutorial uh, on easy uh, easy JavaScript. Uh, pretty much the same concept. So let's do a couple of practice and say that and, and manipulate some things. So in my HTML, I set up a couple of things. Uh, I have a bunch of p tags, I have some classes, and I have an ID name, and let's do something with all of them. So let's do something with the p tag first. Remember dollar sign for jQuery, you can also use the uh, keyword jQuery, but we'll stick simple dollar sign. Uh, and you haven't learned a lot of this yet, we will go over everything you see in this tutorial at some point, but let's manipulate some CSS. Uh, so we'll do CSS color red. So what this is doing is it says uh, select all HTML elements with the p tag uh, and change the CSS and apply the color and change it to red. So what this will do is it'll take anything with the p tag uh, in my example and uh, change the color to red. So change the color to red. Uh, you'll notice a problem here when I click on run. See it changed the p tags here, but it also changed everything up here. And that's because uh, when I formatted my uh, text here, it I also use the p tags here, so it's a, it's a little bit confusing, but it's it's granted. Uh, if you want to select specific key tag uh, uh, p tags, like inside a, a div ID, you can you can do that as well. Uh, same as, uh, as CSS. So let's do something with the classes now. So we'll do numbers dot append. Uh, we learned how to append text in JavaScript. In jQuery, you have a simple command called append. We will go over append and prepend in a future tutorial as well. We'll do let's try something like, yeah, it's a number. So it'll select everything with the class, uh, div class numbers, and it'll just append the text. Yep, it's a number. Uh, pretty straightforward. So we'll do run. There you go. Hold on. Uh, I missed the period. Remember, you can't just select the uh, the p tag. So we'll do this. We'll do run. There you go. Get it appended. Yep, it's a number. Yep, it's a number. Yep, it's a number. Nothing too special. And finally, let's do uh, select our name ID. 
Uh, remember, uh, same thing as in JavaScript is that uh, you can use double quotes or single quotes, it doesn't matter in jQuery. It is JavaScript. So let's do something a little bit more special. Uh, let's animate something. Uh, we'll learn about the animate method as well in jQuery in the future. So we'll do, let's see. Uh, so the animate accepts a uh, an object. So we'll do, let's do font size 3em. We'll do delay. Actually, let me get rid of this. Since I'm only going to do one, I want to do multiple, but we'll do that later. So delay, uh, let's do 1,000. Uh, the delay is another special method in jQuery that pretty much does the set timeout in JavaScript uh, and and delays it before the next method is uh, implemented. And let's see what the next method will do. We'll do animate again. And this time, we'll do font size. 1 EM. Uh, this looks right. So what this will do is it'll change. Uh, it'll start off. Uh, it'll kind of like a blink. Uh, the the text will make it big and then small again. Uh, the EM is a uh, you know as the CSS the size. So let's update and run and, and pay attention to this. Uh, what I'll actually do is just to move it up a little bit. We'll do BR a bunch of times. Whoops. I don't know if you noticed. There you go. So when I run it, uh, the, the colors are changed, and it says, yep, it's a number, and then this goes up and down. So let's do this. Whoop, hello. Whoop, hello. It's pretty cool, right? Um, and this was an example of how you can chain uh, methods in jQuery to each other uh, and create really cool effects. Uh, we will go over the this keyword uh, in a future tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed the first tutorial where I gave you a brief introduction on how to select HTML elements on your page. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below or ask on easyprogramming.net. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one.